3D printers are super cool, but they're actually pretty boring unless you have something to print with them. But where do you find files to 3D print? Well, these days there are tons of different websites you can go to to download files for your 3D printer. In fact, in my opinion, there's too many and I ain't got time for that. So in this video, I'll show you three different websites you can try out to search all of these different websites at once to find the perfect file you're looking for for your 3D printer. Let's get started. So you may already be familiar with websites like Thingiverse, My Mini Factory, and Colts, where people can upload their files to these repositories and then you can go search them and then download them for your own use on your 3D printer. But it's really time consuming and in some cases, almost impossible to search these websites like Thingiverse's search barely even works to find the files you want. But luckily there is a way better solution and that comes in the form of a 3D print search engine. And we're gonna start things off with Yegi, which is like the original 3D print search engine. It's almost like Google for 3D printing files. So what Yegi does is it indexes a huge range of 3D printing repositories that you can then search all at once. For example, we can search for MakerCoin, and then what Yegi's gonna do is go through its index and find what uh, files were labeled MakerCoin, whether in the description or in the title, and it's gonna show them here all at once. So we have all of these different files that you can then go and try to 3D print. Now the thing about Yegi is it only indexes the websites. It's very much like Google. It doesn't rip the files to itself in its own repository. So for example, if I click any of these, it'll take me to the website they were hosted on, like Thingiverse. But what I do really like about Yegi is it's built with 3D printing in mind. The websites that it does index are mainly used for 3D printing, with a few exceptions like CG Trader, where the files may not be suitable for 3D printing without a lot of tweaking. And I also like that it shows you what's most popular at the time. For example, currently people are searching for Overwatch, Groot, and, um, demonetization. Next up we have Thangs, which is a fairly new 3D printing repository. And you might've heard Thangs talked about by your favorite YouTubers. And it is indeed a very powerful repository with its own built-in search engine. So similar to Yegi, you can actually search on Thangs different websites that it's crawled to find files you want to 3D print. So again, if we search Megacoin, then what Thangs will do is actually search outside of Thangs if you want it to, to find the perfect file you need. You can, however, say Thangs only if you wanna search just in their own STL repository, or you can search for external websites as well. A feature that sets Thangs apart from the other 3D printing search engines in this list though, is this ability to search based on geometry, which is like their core thing. So for example, if I don't wanna just search by a key phrase, I can actually click upload, and then I can actually upload my own geometry, in this case, it's my own maker coin, and it'll upload it to the thing system where it will scan the geometry of that file and try to match it to existing geometry that it's found on the internet. It's a pretty cool feature. I will say it's one that I can't see being used all the time. And as you can see, the results are, uh, yeah, hit and miss. I'm sure if you have something that's really unique and easily identifiable, it might do better. But in this case, my maker coin um, hasn't found any similar maker coins, which is interesting. <laughs> so yeah, they've clearly got a bit of work to do searching by geometry, but searching by keyword works very well. But let's say those first two options fail you and you haven't found the model you want to 3D print. It just doesn't exist. Well, this is where 3D model database may come in to save the day because this search engine searches a huge range of 3D data repositories, not just ones designed for 3D printing, which is good because it gives you a much larger range, but bad because those files are likely not going to be suitable for 3D printing without a lot of post-processing and work to fix them up, make them manifold and ready to be sliced and printed. So for example, if I search make a coin here, it will find files on Thingiverse. But for example, if I search maybe like Lamborghini, it's gonna find files from other 3D data websites like TurboSquid um, and CG Trader, 3D Ocean and that. Now you notice there's a price here. That's because uh, high quality digital assets should be paid, but you can absolutely turn it off by clicking uh, this a little free checkbox and then it'll show you the free assets that you can download. But what 3D model database is really good for is stuff like this, where you might want a certain model car that's a 3D asset that you might want to modify for 3D printing. Because again, if I go back to things and search for it, you're going to get a much smaller range of models to choose from. Because again, it's only really crawling the websites that are 
built with 3D printing in mind. By the way, this video isn't sponsored, but if you want to help support the channel, you can check out the brand new Makers Muse community linked in the video description below, where you get access to behind the scenes content. You can see what I'm working on here on Makers Muse. You can ask your questions about 3D printing in the troubleshooting section, and you can even post your own cool projects in the community making section. So if you're interested in joining, check it out in the description below. But hey, you know what? As a reward for sticking this far into the video, here are two more resources you can try to check out to find the models you need because you might not find them in the previous search engines. We'll start with GrabCAD. Now GrabCAD is very familiar to people in the CAD community, but it may not be familiar to you if you're just in the 3D printing community. And that's because GrabCAD is primarily used to share 3D assets for CAD systems like SolidWorks and Autodesk, Inventor, and uh, Fusion 360, and stuff like that. It's not really used for 3D printing. That absolutely doesn't mean you can't go on here, find assets you want, and then make them suitable for 3D printing. So something I really like about the GrabCAD community is people use it to kind of show off their skills, and they upload incredibly high quality models to just kind of show what they're capable of and almost like a sort of portfolio thing. So for example, on the homepage here, we've got lots of incredible car 3D models like this Porsche and this Audi, even got some 3D, uh, 3D printer models people have done, <laughs> if you wanted to check those out. And it depends what they've modeled it in, if the assets they upload are useful to you or not, because again, there's so many different CAD programs out there. But for example, this uh, Audi A7, you can go down and see what they've uploaded it in. Uh, so they've done it in SolidWorks. So they've got solid parts here. That will obviously work in SolidWorks, but I do also know as a fact that Fusion 360 will import solid parts as well. And often they'll export in a intermediary format like uh, Step or iGIS or something like that. So obviously, again, it's not suitable for 3D printing straight away, but you can get awesome models here on GrabCAD and then you can modify them in your own CAD software and then make them ready to be printed and then get exactly what you want. And if GrabCAD wasn't engineering enough, then we have Trace Parts. Now this is for industry, I'm not gonna lie. Trace Parts is a way of getting the digital versions of components that you may use in industry assemblies that you would then go back to the supplier and purchase. And what I mean by that is for example, I can search Mod 1 gear and it's gonna pull up the 3D models of Mod 1 size gears from a huge range of suppliers. So we've got uh, rack gear, uh, spur gear, so I want a spur gear, let's check this one out. And here we have a cool looking spur gear. Now the idea is you'd use this in your assembly and then you'd go order the part for the final actual production. But if you want to, there's nothing stopping you just downloading this and then printing it out, <laughs> if you so choose. This doesn't work all the time because a lot of companies will upload placeholder files where the gear won't actually have any teeth or it only has like one or two teeth. And it's actually not actually suitable to be used in the real world but it's worth checking out if you need a mechanical component that's too difficult to 3D model from scratch and you can't find any suitable generators. It's worth checking trace parts out because again, it's free. And again, you can download in a huge range of different formats, like massive amount of formats here. And I would just choose step because that's a pretty universal format. Then once you download it, you simply open it up in your CAD software and there, bam, you have a spur gear that you can then modify further or print out for your own projects at home on your very own 3D printer. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful and you no longer have to keep crawling through every single 3D printing file repository one by one with their terrible search engines desperately looking for something called a print. You can just use these websites linked in the video description below to quickly find what you're looking for. And hey, if you're new here to make this music, it's my aim to empower your creativity through technology and I'd love to have you on board. So maybe consider subscribing. Thanks for watching guys, bye.